Hey everybody, it's Trevor back at it again from the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage. So what we have here is another great chassis swap that I discovered. So right here we have AMT's new, or re-released, 1964 Galaxy 500 XL, which you now know as being this kit right here. But as you know, this kit is just a promotional model, so that means there is no engine in it. However... AMT also makes the 1963 Ford Galaxy 500 XL, and this one does have an engine in it. And I've got a, an incomplete one right here, but as you can see, it's got the opened area right in here for the engine. And if I just move these out of the way for a second, and open up our instruction sheet here, bear with me. You can see that we have optional engine blocks, rustling paper. <laughs> so there's the stock engine, which has the, the uh, air cleaner for the tricarbs. And you can also build this as the engine with a blower on it, right? So setting this aside, I want to show you something cool. So we have our 64, or yeah, 64 Ford Galaxy, and right here is the 63. And it's kind of amazing that the front almost looks like the same fenders, although the side molding is different, of course, between the two years. There's more going on in 64 for side trim than 63. But let's just keep rolling this over for a second. Now remember this one, since it was a promo, has all these things like... Uh, galvanized rocker panels and all this code underneath here for what's going on with the car. Whereas the 1963 version down here, it doesn't have any of that. It's all smooth on the exhaust. But you can see that clearly this is the same frame and everything. The only exception is the exhaust pipes are longer and go up into the engine, which the engine is just a plug on the 64. But check this out. So here on the chassis of the 64, you have these holes in here and holes in the back right by the gas tank. Now compare that with this chassis. You have plugged holes right by the gas tank there and there, as well as plugged holes up here. So now getting the chassis out of the 63, this is no easy task, <laughs> but you can see plastic pins where it would be holes on the original, right? or on the 64. So there's pins on the 63. Now there's holes on the 64 under here, and take a look at this. With a little maneuvering, you gotta be careful up in here on the rockers, but those pins line up perfectly with the holes on the chassis of the 64. So now you've got that entire undercarriage you can add in the engine of your choice, but first cut the hood open by dragging your number 16 hobby blade upside down in around here. Take the hood off, and I'll bet you that the firewall will fit in here as well. The only thing is when you take the hood off, you're also removing the posts in the front, but that might not be a problem. All you'd have to do is make up a dummy firewall which would, or not a firewall, but a radiator support, pardon me, Whoa, which would look much like this. Although, since we're removing those posts out of the 64, you could actually make a whole new thing here flat, cut an opening, find a radiator from another kit, and put that radiator in there, and there wouldn't be any holes in it either, like that. But yeah, that is basically it. So your 63 undercarriage, your chassis, will fit perfectly in the 64. So if you want your 64 to actually have an engine in there, that's the way to do it. 